Hi, Karen here. I know it's been a little while since I did my last video. I actually had to step away from Trans Youth Channel over the holidays because of certain stress that was going on in my life. Now I'm back, and I'm very happy to be back. This week's topic is actually about Leela Alcorn, not just who she was and all that, but we're trying to expand upon that idea. First and foremost, anybody who's been following that story knows it's truly heartbreaking. Also, we know there's a lot more at stake here. First off, we know that trans, trans youth especially have higher rates of suicide. They have higher rates of being disowned by their family. They have higher rates of being rejected. And that's incredibly heartbreaking. As someone who was pretty much accepted by their family, it's kind of really, really saddening to, to see someone just be outright rejected like that. And while I understand how she felt hopeless and how she felt that there was no real future, I, I have to say she was wrong. I'm not saying that to attack her or, or to blame the victim, so please don't think of me like that. Quite the opposite. Instead of blaming the victim, I want it to be kind of an insight. One of the things she said was that she didn't want to start hormones at 18 and, and just be a guy in drag or to be a man or I don't remember exactly how she worded it, but I've got to tell you, it, it's, it's a wrong idea. I didn't start my transition until I was 26. And nowadays, I cannot pass as a guy, which is awesome because I don't live as one. Some people truly and utterly think that they don't have a future as a trans person or as male to female, especially because when you get those muscles and your chest sets and then you have that wider shoulders and all that stuff. And I've got to say that's wrong. And again, not to attack or belittle, but as someone who did start transition a little bit later. Another thing is that some of my biggest mentors are transgender Vietnam veterans. They're in their 60s, and they truly and utterly are doing amazing things. So while some people think that it is kind of hopeless or that they don't have a future, I have seen quite, quite differently. Well, it seems a lifetime away between 16 and 18, it's not. And while if you don't have a supportive home life like she did not, I can understand why it's really painful. But at the same point, it, being a little bit older is not a death sentence as a trans person. And... Regardless if you start at 16 or 18 or 26 or 60, it will still take a few years for the hormones to come in and do their thing and truly shape you. But it also comes from you. It's not just the hormones. It's how you present yourself. And one more thing I have to take some contention with is how she said that it does not get better. I, I know some people who are actually in PFLAG out in Ohio I believe the chapter she would have been part of, and every one of them have said beyond a shadow of a doubt that they wish they could have offered her some advice because they would have told her that it does get better. It is not easy being a trans person. I know this one way too well. I, one of the reasons why I was under so much stress was because I could not find a job. It's not easy at all. But when you have a support group, when you have some sort of support system in place, whether it be your family, which I know she did not have, or it is a P flag, or it is a local LGBT group, or a GSA at your school, or whatever, it really does help. And that's actually one of the reasons why Trans Youth Channel is around, because we want to offer up some sort of support to the younger generation of transgender people. That's not just a tagline. We're not just here for, you know, clicks and ad space or whatever. We're not, that's not why we're here. We're here to be a true support group for 
the trans youth. And if this is all you have, if you don't have a P flag, if you don't have a GSA, if you don't have something in place, but you have us at least, that's a good start. And that's why we do this. And that's why I actually came back. And I want you guys to remember that. That we do look at the comments. We do try to reply back. We do our best to interact. And we are very much so interested in the trans youth of the entire world. We are international and we care internationally. This is not a tagline. This is not a slogan. This is what we stand for and why we're doing this. And I've got to say that it does get better. And if all we are is, if we're, if we're the only support group you have, then I hope we help. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. As always, we do read them. We do check the comments. And we do try to reply. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please press that subscribe button as we do put out awesome content regularly. Please like, share this video, share everywhere with everyone. Subscribe if you're new. All that fun stuff, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's awesome to be back. And I'm glad you guys watched. Till next time. Bye. 42% of our trans community will make an attack on their life. 10% will succeed. In the homeless communities, this number jumps from almost half at 41% to two-thirds of our community.